What happens if we solve an equation and the answer doesn't look right? Let's solve the equation x plus 4 equals x plus 3. I could subtract x from both sides, and that leaves me with 4 is equal to 3, and no x at all. It looks like we might have a problem here. In this lesson, you will learn that a linear equation has no solutions by transforming it into a simpler form. Let's review. An equation is similar to a scale. Both sides of the scale need to be equal in order for the scale to balance. Properties of equality say that I can add, subtract, multiply, and divide the same number to each side of the equation and it will be true. So to solve this equation, x plus 2 is equal to 5, I will subtract 2 from both sides. This leaves me with a solution of x is equal to 3. Now we don't know if it really is a solution until we try it. To balance the scale, the unknown, or in this case x, has to be 3 stars. So if I substitute 3 stars into x plus 2 equals 5, I should get a balanced equation. So let's check and see if 3 is a solution. So I have x plus 2 equals 5. I substitute 3 in, and I get 5 is equal to 5. So 3 is the solution. Could 4 also be a solution? Let's see. I have x plus 2 equals 5. I substitute 4 in for x, and I get 6 is equal to 5. The answer is no. Any number other than 3 is not going to be a solution. Because if 4 was the solution, my scale would not balance. A common mistake is thinking that your math is wrong if both sides of the equation are not equal. What is the solution for x plus 1 equals x? To solve this equation, I'm going to subtract x from both sides, and I'm left with 1 is equal to 0. We know this cannot be true, so our equation has no solution. How many solutions does this equation have? 2x plus 7 plus 5x is equal to 7 times the quantity x plus 8. I'm going to combine like terms on the left and use the distributive property of equality on the right. So I'm left with 7x plus 7 equals 7x plus 56. I'm going to subtract 7x from both sides, and I'm left with 7 equals 56. So I know that's not true. So this equation also has no solution. Have you noticed a pattern between these two equations? I have x plus 1 equals x, and 7x plus 7 equals 7x plus 56. In the first equation, I have the same variable on opposite sides, just the number's different. The second equation, the same thing. Each side has a 7x, but a different number is added to both sides. Let's look and see what this means on a scale. If this scale represents x plus 1 is equal to x, both sides have to be equal in order for my scale to balance. What is different about both sides of the equation, or the scale? They're almost identical, except for the left-hand side has a 1 added to it. If I were to balance the scale, what would I do? Remember, you have to do the same thing to both sides of the equation through properties of equality. So let's say we subtract x from both sides. I'm left with a scale that looks like this. 1 is equal to 0. Well, obviously the scale is not going to balance, because whatever we did, or we do to this equation, is not going to make it true. So that equation has no solution. In this lesson, you learn that a linear equation has no solutions by transforming it into simpler form.